Why is the Treasury shakeout not infecting equity markets this time around? What's going on? Well, it's interesting. We were, we've been looking at the two-year. We actually expected uh, a shakeout in equities early in the year as, as we thought short rate fall, specifically the two-year, was going to pick up. We also saw Schatz fall, which is short German vol, also yep. pick up. And that's important because I think it indicates that global liquidity conditions are tightening. So why, now that we're back at those levels, why are we not seeing it again? Well, a lot of times when you get gain comfort with a level, it doesn't have the same psychological impact. That said, we think as the 10-year approaches three and two-year approaches two and a quarter, uh, that we will start to see equities take a breather for the very same reason that they took a breather the first time. Andres, for a lot of people, there's something uncomfortable about this. As we grind towards 3% on a 10-year, all of a sudden we've got comfortable with higher rates. Have we actually got that comfortable with higher rates? I think the funny thing is that we were comfortable prior to the big drop, and all of a sudden we weren't. So that was the outlier, right? If you think about it, the uh, last year rates were in December were already starting to rise and no yep. one seemed to care. Actually, they were saying this is reflationary, this is great news. And then we went from that to, oh my God, the world's going to end because the 10 years rising. So I actually think this is more normal, which is some inflation is good. Uh, you know, we were just listening at a clip there. We were concerned about deflation for a while, which in my opinion is a much bigger concern. That wasn't that long inflation. ago either. No. So I, I think the fact that the reason that is occurring yeah. is because global economy is doing better is not a bad thing. And in essence, I, I buy this more, which is equities are rising because rates are rising for the right reasons. Will we see a market that sees bonds and stocks together move up and down? Yeah, so, so quick little bit of uh, the last two months. If you took a nap, the market's flat on the year. We are down 7% from the highs. Um, so I do think that higher rates have impinged the equity story a little bit. As always, it's about the speed. So to the extent that rates are rising and they're rising slowly and they're rising for the right reasons, i.e. growth is starting to be reincorporated, um, the better profitability that's implied by higher growth rates for equities um, allows equities to absorb higher rates. If it's more rates are rising because inflation premium is rising uh, and you're not seeing it in corporate profits and growth, that's a terrible situation for equity. So I think watching these stock bond correlations uh, is a very critical thing uh, for, for investors right now.